dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in Insaimada Bakery, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the GigaLife app and choose Giga Power. Simply smart to code.
over puts it up Phil Basket, I hope you guys are having a good day because we are about to make it even better. We are here at the San Jose del Monte Bulacan Sports Complex and we welcome you to the semi-finals of the Phil Basket 2022 Summer Championship presented by Pure Gold. I'm Naj Miravalles and I'm here with my partners, Anthony Perez and Javi Palanya. Guys, how are you? I'm good, uh, Natch. Uh, all the higher seeds were able to go, uh, go through into the semifinals. But make no mistake about it, it's going to be a dogfight. You can throw all the seedings out yeah. the window right now because this semifinals is going to be very exciting. Definitely happy. And of course, Nadja, in our quarterfinals, we had two games that went into overtime. So you can only expect more exciting things to come, come the semifinals. 
Ngayon, guys, puntahan naman natin yung playoffs bracket. So, on your screen, you would see our playoffs bracket, which is in a best of three format. For the first game, it's the Tanduayra Masters versus the San Juan Knights. And for our second game, the Nueva Ecija Capitals versus the All Star Bacolod Ballers. Two winners from these matches will be facing each other in the finals in a best of three playoffs. Pero bago ang lahat, kamustayin muna natin and let's find out more about these two teams from Anthony and Javi. Anthony, can you give us an update about the Tondway Rum Masters? Sure, Nadja. So we'll go back to their last game, their quarterfinal win against the Muntin Lupa Angels Resort EOG Cooley, where they won 89-74. to Well, Nadja, you have to go back to how well Tondway shot the basketball in that game. Over 50% from two-point range. 40% uh, from free, 87% from free throw distance. I mean, when a team is shooting that well from the field, it's going to be hard to stop them. Anthony, if you mo, Cedric Ablaza was the best player of the game for this game. Of course, Nadja. Cedric Ablaza, as you mentioned, he is the barometer of the Tandwai Rum Masters. Where he goes, the team follows. So, in their previous game, he had 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists, hitting around his season averages. So, Great numbers, great production, great outing for him. Puntahan naman natin sa San Juan Knights. Javi, what are the updates about the San Juan Knights? Well, let's go back to their previous game into the quarterfinals. It was a knockout game against the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Depleted lineup ang Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, pero nakadikit pa rin sila. But eventually, San Juan was able to come out victorious in that game. A 93-91 to overtime victory against the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. A glaring stat in this game was the 53 rebounds that uh, San Juan was able to garner against the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, taking advantage of their height inside the paint. And of course, it all boiled down to who was able to make their free throws. Even if San Juan had a lower percentage from the line in that game, it all boiled down to how many attempts and how many makes were made by San Juan. 19 out of 26 compared to the 13 out of 17 ng passing. Habs, kung maaalala mo naman, nagkaroon ng breakout game si John R. Clarito. What can you say about that? Uh, John R. Clarito, breakout performance in this tournament. Easily his best outing of the Phil Basket Summer Championship. 22 points in that game. He only garnered a total of 15 points the past couple of matches and the last best game niya was an 18-point performance against the Now City MJ Zenith. But this game, uh, he broke out with 22 points and was a big reason why they ended up victorious in that game. Siyempre, kailangan din natin balikan ng elimination round. Uh, Anthony, during the elimination round, these two teams faced each other in a very close fight. What can you say about the performance of the Tandwaira Masters during that game? Well, Nadja, I was the one who was calling that game alongside our friend Nico Gintong. So I remember from that game, you know, if you're Tandwai, you just can't be happy and satisfied with just a one-point victory at the buzzer. So you, this time around, you want to prove it's no fluke. You want to prove that you are the more dominant team in this game. Well, that was a game that they only won by two points, talking about the Tandwairam Masters. But Sun Wan had 25 assists compared to the 16 that Tandwai had in that game. But the game winner came from Tandwai's Jong Baloria, who did not see action the whole fourth quarter and was just inserted by Coach Solo Villanueva to hit the game-winning basket. Guys, pag-usapan naman natin yung keys to victory. What needs to be done for them to be able to come out with a win today? First of all, Nadja, you have to go to Cedric Aplaza and get him hot, get him going early, make sure he gets into the rhythm of his offense. And number two, you have to control the glass. Tan San Juan, on the other hand, is a very strong rebounding team, so Tandwai has to beat them to it and beat them to the boards. Javi? At first, San Juan, it's very important for them to have variety on offense. They have to hit their stride from the outside, guys like Orlan Wamar, uh, jo uh, Fuentes in the uh, Maki Acosta has to hit their shots from the outside so that guys like Mark Sarangay, Justin Gutan, and Ato Olar can operate on the inside. Next, they have to crash the boards and capitalize on their second chance opportunities. Lastly, they have to churn in a total team effort. Tandwai is number two in bench points per game and San Juan is only number nine. So, kailangan nila tapatan yung total team effort na gagawin ng Tandwai today so they can match that and end up victorious in today's game. Guys, being the analyst that you are, what are your predictions for the series, Anthony Muna? Nanja, I'm still going with the undefeated record to continue for Tandwai, but it's not going to come easy. It's going to be a close fight all the way. Well, for me, 
it's important whoever wins game two will end up victorious in this series. You know why? Because whoever wins today will have to close out the series tomorrow. And who, and if the losing team today wins tomorrow, they carry on the momentum into game three. So important talaga yung game two. Kung sino mananalo dun, sila mananalo na series na to. Thank you very much, guys. I know you enjoyed listening to my partners later. You will hear more from them during the game. Right now, we will turn you over to our courtside reporter, Sam Coloso, with an interview with the San Juan Knights, Justin Gutang. Sam? Thank you, Nadia. Kasama ko nga ngayon si Justin Gutang from the San Juan Knights. Justin, in your elimination round against the Tanduay Rum Masters, you lost just by one possession. Buzzer beater, yun. How do you go about that into this game? Um, it was a tough loss. We knew we had to bounce back. Uh, we can't dwell on the past. And playoff is a different atmosphere. Uh, playoff is where all games matter. So we're coming in here today's game to win. Justin, you're one of the key additions into this team this season. How does a rebuild team get back to the finals? A lot of trust in each other and with, through our coaches. Uh, we just have to believe the system and the system will work its way. So, yeah. Justin, isa ka sa mga rumored MVPs. You might get this in the bag. So what opportunities does this open for you? Uh, it definitely expands my horizons uh, for my next journey, whether it's PBA or anywhere else. Uh, I'm just humbled for this experience. And I also just want to thank God and family and especially my team. Thank you so much and good luck to you and your team, Justin. Now we're a few moments away from tip off. We're sending it over to Ken Pangilinan for the introduction of starters. Magandang hapon, mga ka Phil Basket. We're coming to you live from the rising city of San Jose del Monte in Bulacan for the semifinals of the 2022 Phil Basket Summer Championship presented by Pure Gold. It's game one of the best of three series featuring first the Tanwai Rome Masters versus the Sanwai Knights. Let's be the starters first for your Tandwai Rob Masters! Starting at guard, 5'10", from the University of the East, number 10, Rudy Linganai. Also at guard, 6'1", from Arellano University, number 22, Levy Hernandez. At center, 6-5 from Jose Rizal University, number 24, Mark Cruz. At forward, 6-2 from the University of the East, number 18, Ralph Olivares. And at the other forward, 6-3 from Jose Rizal University, number 43, Jexter Apinan. Their head coach is Cholo Villanueva. And now, starting for your Sun One Knights! Starting at guard, 5'10", from Mapua University, number one, CJ Isid. Also at guard, 5'10", from Centro Escolar University, number 17, Judel Fuentes. At center, 6'6", from Mapua University, number 15, Christian Bunyag. Starting at forward, 6'2", from the Ocampo College, number 22, Shonard Clarito. And at the other forward, 6'3", from the College of St. Benil, number 18, Justin Guta. Their interim head coach is Nani Epondulan. Our game officials, crew chief, Joel Tolentino, umpire one, Jojo Belnas, and umpire two. And there we have our starting lineups for the semifinals. Game one it is featuring Tanduay and San Juan. For San Juan, it is Gutang and Clarito along the wins with Bunyag manning the paint and CJ Isit and Judel Rick Fuentes at the guards. For Tanduay, it is Ralph Olivares, Dexter Apinan at the forward spots with Mark Neil Cruz at center and Rudy Linganay and Levi Hernandez at the guards. So we are all set for opening tip. 
featuring Christian Unyak and Mark Neil Cruz. And there it is. Semi-final game one is underway. Anthony Perry is here with Javi Balanian calling the action. Javi, we begin game one of our semi-finals with both teams looking for a score to settle. If you're Tandwai, you don't want to get to get that in your head. No, no, you only won by just a buzzer beater. You want to make an impact right, right from the get-go. Samantala, if you're San Juan, hey, you're taking that win with you all the way to the semifinals, and you want to prove that that wasn't no fluke at all. Yeah, that's right. You know, for, for Tadwai, they're finally unleashing Levi Hernandez in this game. He hasn't started the game since debuting here in the Phil Basic Summer Championship as he nails a three-pointer from the left corner. So it is interesting to see if he will be a catalyst on offense for Coach Solo Villanueva. It's usually John Baloria who starts the game for the Tadwai Rum Masters, but Levi Hernandez making an impact right away. Levi Hernandez, of course, last played at PBA 3x3 level, also was drafted by Talk in Texas. Jonar Clarito, continuing his good performance from last game, pops a jumper up. Picking up from, from where he left off, Jonar Clarito making his presence felt right away in this game as Levi Hernandez misses a three-point try. CJ is it now. Looking to drive strong, is it off the glass? No go. Jonar fighting for it and gets a foul. Now, this is what I said to uh, keys to the ball game para dito sa San Juan Knights. Crash the boards and capitalize on those second chance opportunities. In their elimination round game, they out rebounded Tanwai 40 to 39. So just a plus one advantage for them. But they weren't able to take advantage of those second chance opportunities. Tanwai outscored them in that department 14 to 6. So it's important for them to be able to capitalize on those offensive rebounds, get those second servings to go, and get those easy baskets. And Javi, that's where San Juan makes their money. It's inside scoring and rebounding. Again, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the tournament. As a eight-second violation is called, and meanwhile, we would like to thank Cantigo Scoreboard, our multi-sports scoring solution. Javi, in their uh, quarterfinal matchup against the uh, Pasig Santa Lucia, they had 25 second chance points. So you know San Juan can do it on the glass. Exactly. And they are also one of the best teams in terms of points in the paint. They are number four, 38.3 points inside the paint para dito sa San Juan. But Samantalang Tanduay is only sixth at 37 points inside the paint per game. So we'll look to see that battle as it progresses. Meanwhile, Linganay grabs that one. Rudy up ahead to Ralph Olivares. Olivares got hung up in the air that time. Ito na si Judel Rick Fuentes. Pupunta kay Justin Gutang striking down the lane. is the MVP front runner. Now, this is also important for San Juan to be able to push the tempo in their elimination round game. Nahihirapan sila si Kumor pag mabagal yung pace. So it's important for them to push the tempo every opportunity they get and get those easy baskets. Kasi mas nakakapasok sila sa loob pag mabilis yung pace. Eh. Lalo na if you have a good playmaker like Justin Gutang, but Jexter Apinan responds with a triple. Well, I'm sure Jexter Apinan prepared for this going into the semi-final matchup. Alam niya that San Juan will give him the three-point shot because that is not exactly his strong suit in that time, able to make a three-point shot, but San Juan answering back with a three-point shot of their own. So back to the Rum Masters we go. Linganay. Over now to Jexter. Apenan puts it on the deck. Is fouled on the way up by Bunya. Or check that. That was Justin Gutang giving up the foul. And Jexter Apenan looking to be aggressive early on in this game. Hit the three pointer earlier at that time. Driving to the basket and drawing a foul. Apenan now. Over now to Olivares. Nine seconds in a shot clock for Tantuay. Levi Hernandez puts on the brakes, tries to ship it up inside. That's the turnover for them. Here comes Justin. Over to Jonard Sky in the air, almost threw it down. Tough basket right there to make for Jonard Clarito. Cruz now. Olivares to the corner. Levi Hernandez overcooks that one. Clarito trying to fight for it against Dexter Apinan. And Jexter cannot believe that holding foul was against him. And San Juan so far doing a good job on their 2-3 zone early on in this game. We see that replay right here. Three-point shot hoisted up by Levy Hernandez. And Clarito caught himself in a cross arm with Jexter Apinan. Foul going to Mr. Apinan. 
two of the best rebounders, Javi, that we have in our Phil Basket Summer Championships. To the corner they go, Justin Gutang from downtown, rims out. Here comes Linganay, turnover again, stolen by CJ Isit. Over to Bunya, a little fake, gets the two. Sanwan very scrappy on both ends of the floor to start this game. Even if they give up possessions, they are always on the lookout to regain it back. As Cruz is blocked up top by Bunya. Here comes Dexter on the second serving, will be fouled there. Of course, Jexter Apinan, one of our leading Defensive Player of the Year candidates. As we take a look at this stop again against Mark Neil Cruz, got blocked that time by the San Juan defense. Now, also, have you know, we mentioned about the rebounding a while ago. San Juan in their previous game, in their quarterfinals matchup against Pasig. They were able to grab 50 total rebounds even without the presence of Ato Olar. Yeah, that's right. It's important for them to be able to gang rebound against the number one rebounding team in the league in Tanduay. Tanduay is averaging 49 rebounds per ball game, almost 50 per game. So it shouldn't rely on one person alone to grab those defensive boards. Everybody has to put in the effort, box out, and grab those rebounds. Samantala, may ulat tayo courtside. Dito, mula kay Sam and Nadja Pasok. Thank you, guys. We were able to talk to Coach Shola Villanueva of the Tondoy Rum Masters and being an undefeated team, syempre sa isip natin has some kind of pressure. But to Coach Shola, there is no pressure. They are just doing their best because for him, they haven't proven anything yet and that it's more difficult to climb up the ladder than protecting a title. Coach Shola said that San Juan Knights is a strong team but they like the challenge. Ano naman balita sa San Juan Knights, Sam? Thanks, Nadia. Sabi naman ng team manager ng San Juan Knights na si June Usman, today is payback time. Alam nilang malakas ang lineup ng Tanduay ngayon, kaya more aggressive ang approach nila today. Isa lang daw ang pagkakamali nila over the elimination round at yun ay dahil walang nag-box out. They're using that as motivation today, kaya sabi ni Coach Nani, play with heart. Dahil kung sino ang may puso, siya daw ang nananalo. Anthony, Javi. Thank you very much, Sam and Nadja. Javi, gusto mo yun, eh, no? If you're Tandwa, you're playing free. Wala kang iniisip, kundi itong game lang na to. Samantalang, if you're San Juan naman, back to the fundamentals tayo. Boxing out, rebounding, closing out on your defenders. Those little things make a whole lot of differences. I'm sure what Coach Tola Villanueva's mind going into the game, San Juan was one of the teams that they barely escaped in the elimination round. Even if they stopped their class on almost the whole tournament, itong San Juan nakadikit sa kanila and was just marginalized by one basket alone, yes. Anthony. So I'm sure they're out to prove a point in this series, especially in game one. <laughs> I cannot forget that game, Javi. Ako yung tumawag ng buzzer beater nun ni Jong Baloria, no? So you can tell, no, Javi, at that, at that point in our elimination round, Tanduay was number one. Siyempre, undefeated sila, no? But San Juan was number two. So they were right neck and neck in the standings. So hindi yan nakakalayo yung dalawa as Wilson is the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket. That's right, Anthony. To your point, going into that elimination round game, Tanduay was 3-0 and and San Juan was 3-1. and Consistency lang yung nagkakalayo eh, no? As Jexter up and on the drive, little Euro step works for Jexter. Well, you know, say what you want about that game, but that was really a lucky win for Tanduay. Oh, it was, Happy. Is it now? Handoff action with Judel. Shadowed here by Levy. Fuentes on the drive, kick out, Clarito, free splash. Clarito, free! So our Clarito really percolating here early in this game. Apinan, the dish is stolen by Judel. Here comes Fuentes. Bounce pass. Oh, beautiful find to John Clarito, streaking down the lane. San Juan is playing beautiful team basketball right here, pushing the tempo on the break, finding the open man, getting the quality shot. Linganay now looking to set it up. Over to Levy. Finds Jexter. Kick against Bunyak. Apinan puts the move on him. Kick out. Ralph, no. Little fake. The drive. Jexter cannot convert inside. Apinan again with the board. Jexter kick out. Oh, free in the key is the call. Three second violation. Well, so far here, the changing zone defense of San Juan has made it hard 
for Tanduay to set up in the half court as you see this beautiful bounce pass to Jonard Clarito. Excellent find in transition by Judel Fuentes. Judel to Jonard is our assist delivery brought to us by Happily. Happily is available by delivery, takeout, and grab. In that previous defensive possession, Anthony San Juan was sporting a 1 3 1 zone, and in the other defensive possessions, they were on a 2-3 and means that they shift sila to a man. So, nabubulaga yung offense nito ng Tanduay. So, let's see how, you know, that shifting zone uh, can rattle the, the offense of Tanduay. And so, let's see how they respond to that as meanwhile, Cedric Oblaza is now on the floor and immediately he scores. Because in that game against uh, San Juan in that elimination round, you know, uh, San Juan was having a 2-3 zone in the first parts of that game, but Tanduay was able to connect from the outside, which forced San Juan to shift to a man-to-man. -man. And immediately shooting from the outside is CJ is it his second three-pointer of the first quarter. Uh, both teams really looking to shoot it from the outside in the early goings of this match. In Wildfield Basket is brought to us by Celium Fiber, manufactured by Leone Agri Corporation. Dinganay over to Jong. Rise and fire free. Overcooks it. Here comes John Art. Clarito steps on the brakes. DJ is it now. Fought about it. The drive. Show and go. Clarito swing it around to Gutang. Gutang puts it up and in. Drive inside. Draw the defense. Make the extra pass. Excellent basketball being showed here by San Juan. And now it's a it's a nine point lead now for San Juan as they're leading San Juan in fast break points six to two, 25 to 16. Last two minutes now for first quarter. Ablaza cannot find the range from downtown. CJ now stop and pop free splash. CJ is it free triples now in our first quarter and it is now a 12 point advantage for the San Juan Knights. Heavy. There is just so much confidence in all the players on the floor for the San Juan Knights. CJ is it pulling up in transition for three nine point lead para dito sa San Juan Knights. And that instant replay of the game is brought to us by Smart. Smart Simple, Smart Ako. Time out muna tayo dito. Magbabalik ang Phil Basket Semi. Back here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex, as we take a look at our stats for both squads, having San Juan leading Tanduay in all categories except for rebounds per game. Yeah, 48.2 rebounds per game, almost 50 rebounds para dito sa Tanduay Rum Masters. And Tanduay also giving up the least points between these two teams at 71 points per game. If San Juan can limit itong Tanduay, to just below their average in this game and pile on the points in their regard, they have a good chance of ending up victorious in this game. And they're piling up the points indeed, Javier. Lamang na nga sila ng 12. First quarter pa lang, 28 to 16. And our prize money sponsor is brought to us by eMedisure Pharmacy. CJ now trapped up, Gutang. On the drive is bumped there by Ablasa. Shoulder to the shoulder. San Juan has held multiple double digit leads in the early goings of their games throughout this tournament. But the biggest question for them is can they sustain it until the very end? Lagi silang naaabutan sa dulo ng mga kalaban nila. So consistency is the key, and can they have that killer instinct to end the game? Again, Javi, it was no joke that they were the number two team in the standings. Yun nga lang, consistency, looking to build a, you know, a more consistent rhythm. Dun lang sila nagkakatalo, you know. As Nino Ibanez now has entered the game for San Juan. Alongside O'Neal Arim. Arim now to the rim and he scores. Adlitas Peralta. Oh, Tonton Peralta rather.
Look at the turnover story now. Tanduay have seven turnovers have not been helping their cause. Yeah, very uncharacteristic for Coach Cholo Villanueva's squad to have this much turnovers in the first quarter. Seven already, that's almost half of their average. You're averaging almost 17 turnovers per game as we see this foul by Sarangay on Cedric Ablaza. For Cedric Ablaza, veteran forward out of STI College, played for a number of teams in the PBA D League, also played in the MPBL for Makati. And of course, one of our featured scorers here, Javi, in the Phil Basket Summer Championships, the number two leading scorer in the tournament. Well, as you said, uh, in, during our pregame show, the barometer for the Tadwai Rum Masters. So when Cedric Ablaza plays well, you would be sure that the Rum Masters, more or less, will be ending up with a victory. Meanwhile, Happily is available by delivery, takeout, and grab. As Peralta gets the fake, traveling. but traveling is the call. Shuffle his feet after that ball fake. Still a 12-point advantage here for San Juan. Ablaza pops it back out to John Rick. Last 26 seconds of our first quarter. Baloria on the drive. It gets the two off the glass. That's a good drive there by John Baloria. Attacking the zone. Not contented in just moving the ball side to side. Attacking the gaps of the defense. Last six seconds to end our first quarter. Lamar puts up the free. Cannot find the basket. And time will expire, and that is the end of our first quarter of action. 30 for the San Juan Knights, 20 for the Tanduay Rum Masters. Boy, Javi, San Juan looking to take it right to the Rum Masters early on. Just a little more oomph in the step of the San Juan Knights in this first quarter. Dexter Abinan trying to get his team back into this game, but San Juan really very confident on both ends of the floor. John R. Clarito trying to will his team to the victory. Making a good account of themselves in that first quarter. 10 point lead para sa San Juan Knights, 30 to 20. Back to the action here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex. For at the end of our first quarter of action, it was all San Juan leading now Tanduay 30 to 20. Anthony Perry is still here on the call. Joining me is Javi Pilania. Javi, excellent shooting in that first quarter by the Knights. Yeah, that's right. 55% from the field in that game, in that first quarter. 11 out of 20 compared to 7 out of 14. Well, still 50% by Tanduay, but the defense of the San Juan Knights is making it hard for Tanduay to sta establish any kind of rhythm offensively. Again, San Juan, also one of the best defensive teams in our tournament, had six blocks in their quarterfinal win against Pasig. As you take a look at now at our three-point shooting, boy, Javi, it has been on point early on for the Knights. Yes, 15 three-point attempts between both teams, but obviously San Juan doing a better job from the outside. Five out of eight, 62% compared to just 28 para dito sa Tadwai Rum Masters. Puts it up. Peralta is short on his jump shot. Sarangay keeps it alive, though. Nino Ibanez tries his luck from deep and splash for Ibanez. But it seems Sanwa is having a hard time boxing out the bigs in San Juan Knights. Mark Sarangay and Maki Acosta doing their part. And that has given San Juan having numerous fresh opportunities. Baloria now looking to wave up. Baloria decides to put it up for free. Offline. Rebound here by Sarangay. It's very impressive that San Juan is able to finish those defensive possessions with those rebounds, not giving Tanduay any chance at the offensive board. And, and makikita mo yung zone defense sila, Anthony. 
at that previous possession, 2-3 zone defense, pero nakaangat yung mga guardsa, pati yung five man nakatakas. And that kind of, you know, parang it adds a different wrinkle to your defensive scheme, you know, Javi, kapag yung, akala kasi pag nag-zone ka, no, parang okay, we have so much space to shoot from the outside. Yes. Pero kung biglang umaangat yun, parang ikaw, ikaw yung tanduay, parang, teka lang, what are they trying to put up against us? Exactly, and uh, this is a good adjustment for the boys of Coach Nani Epundalan. Excellent game prep they did because this is a kind of stiff defensive scheme that they did not do all tournament long. So, hindi to in a scout ng Tanzoy. Kaya ngayon nabubulaga yung opensa nila. And it has been working wonders so far for San Juan as they are still leading by double digits. A 13-point advantage, 35-22. to 22. San Juan, the pressure defense results to a turnover for them. Wamar pops one up from distance. Gets the friendly roll. Boy, even the friendly bounces have been working for San Juan. Everything just trickling in para dito sa San Juan Knights. And wow, what a, what a plan that is for Coach Nani Ipundulan after establishing a double-digit lead. Pagpasok ng second unit niya, saka siya ng full court press. And you can see it has been causing turnovers though. As Wamar and Baloria, a little extracurricular activity going on along the sidelines. Siguro frustration na rin, eh, no, Abby, if you're Tandwai. You're not used to being down this big this early. Exactly. That is why Coach Solo Villanueva has reiterated time in and time again in this tournament that they should have the challenger's mentality. Hindi dapat nila iniisip that they swept the entire elimination round because that is when your psyche goes into relax mode. Meanwhile, we would like to thank Antigo Scoreboard, our multi-sport scoring solutions. Tonton Peralta now, seven seconds at the shot clock. Over to Mackey. Acosta working on King Importante. No go, Sarangay trying to battle for it. Acosta gets it. Tonton Peralta now recovers. Ibanez, eight seconds at the shot clock. Back out to Mackey Acosta, rise and fire free, offline. Ablaza now says that's enough. Here comes Cedric, looking to attack. Gets the bump, puts it up. Blocked that time by Sarangay. Well, the Knights are really being physical with the scorers. Why Cedric Ablaza having a hard time and of attacking the interior. Mention na saktan dun si Cedric Ablaza having no dun sa drive ni uh, Nino Ibanez as we take a look at this again on our screens. Oh, an elbow to the ear of Edric, Cedric Ablaza. No, that's got to sting a bit. He was down, but he looks to be okay now. So action resumes with Tandwai. The pass inside. Ablaza is frustrated because he got called for free in the key. So they're still having a hard time of figuring out how to attack this modified zone defense that San Juan has. A shifting zone, a moving zone, Javi, works in wonders for San Juan. As we turn it over now, courtside to Nadja and Sam, what are you after us? Thank you, Anthony and Javi. During the huddle of the Tanduay Rum Masters, Coach Cholo reminded these guys that if they cannot make shots, they need to play defense. And their goal this quarter is to cut down the lead to five points. Ano naman nangyari sa huddle ng San Juan night, Sam? Thank you, Nadia. Though things seem to be working para sa San Juan Knights, sabi ni Coach Nani Epondola na kulang pa din sa communication. Paalala ni Coach Nani na bantayan ang shooters at maging more aggressive pa sa defense. Anthony, Javi? Boy, you'd like to hear that, no, Javi, from Coach Nani Epondola. Be more aggressive on defense when it has already given you a 16-point lead like this. Communication pa ang tinatawag ni Coach Nani. No? So, the more na magiging effective yung zone defense mo, if you, everyone works as if there were five fingers on a hand. Exactly. Everybody is on the same page right now for San Juan. And defense has definitely put them atop right now. Asablaza now on the attack. Cannot get the lucky bounce to go. Wamar stripped there by John Ray. Villanueva over to Ablaza. Door shut down. John Ray for free. Splash. See, every time that the Dwight is successful in going into the shaded area there is always someone to help out on defense but that time Tanduay able to get the second serving and John Rivel and Weva scoring on a three-pointer yung points in the paint having na Tanduay yung ginagamit nila parate is just not falling for them right now in this game 
Here comes Wamar. Four seconds in a shot clock. Orlan to the drive. And that just won't cut it for Tandwai. The smallest man on the floor for the San Juan Knights. Able to puncture the interior defense of Tandwai and score on a layup despite two defenders helping out on that shot. Ablaza open free. Cannot find the range. De La Virgen picks it up and cleans it up. That shot of Cedric Plaza was wide open, that, but that was not in the rhythm of the offense. But he, uh, MJ De La Virgen able to come out with the offensive rebound and putback. Again, credit that to the San Juan defense. As Peralta is open for free, long on that shot. Here comes John Ray Villanueva. Over now to Junric. Back to Jong, open from the corner, still short. Hasn't found the range today yet. Judel Fuentes to Orlan. Back to Judel. Fuentes pops one up from distance. Splash again! The freeze have been falling for San Juan and they are not looking back at all. 43 to 27. Well, Judel Fuentes coming out of his slump right here. Importante thought about it. King decides to take it this time. Line drive free doesn't work. Valoria sent falling to the floor. As the referee is looking to sort out to whose possession it shall be. As we take a look at this, Judel Fuentes stop and pop free. That drops and a splash. And that instant replay of the game is brought to us by Smart. Smart simple, Smart ako. And by deciding to switch on that horns play. Fuentes drawing is importante, but importante is sagging off a bit. And all Fuentes needs is a little daylight to hoist up that three point shot. Again, one of our three point shooting leaders is Judel Rick Fuentes. Apinan now. Drive, kick out to Cedric Ablaza. Ablaza puts it on the deck, does not fall. Three pointers again have been the magic number for San Juan. Gutang slips it over to Justin Bunya for the easy two. And timeout is being called here by Coach Joel Villanueva. Enough is enough. San Juan continuing to pile on the pressure 45 to 27 as this Gutang to Bunyag assist and dish and score and bucket is our happily assist delivery of the game. Happily is available via delivery, takeout, and grab. Timeout muna tayo dito magbabalik ang Phil Basket Semis. the action here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex as we take a look now at Justin Gutang, one of our MVP front runners in the Phil Basket Summer Championships, having great all-around numbers for this high-flying wing out of St. Benil. Yeah, Justin Gutang really establishing his all-around game dito sa Phil Basket Summer Championship. In the NCAA, we all knew him as a high-flying forward. He can dunk, he can finish inside, finish very glamorously with his athleticism. But right now, proving to us that he can make plays for his teammates as well. And it was his mentor, you know, uh, si Coach Charles, too, that convinced him, Javi, to actually try his luck here in the Phil Basket with San Juan. And boy, it has been proven to be a great decision for Justin Gutang. So foul. So John Ray Villanueva being whistled for his first personal, holding foul on him. Ball goes back to San Juan. So the woes are compounding here for Tundwai. And Anthony, I haven't seen yet in this game the trademark pressure defense that Tundwai is known for. <laughs> Speaking of defense, how about some offense, Happy Justin Gutang taking it right to the rim for an end one opportunity. Great pass right there by Judel Fuentes. And Gutang coming off the curl, finishing with the inside hand. One of the many things that he could do, Justin Gutang, just excellent in this tournament. Of course, Justin Gutang, player out of St. Benil, nails that free throw to go, completing the end one. 
And have you mentioned about that pressure defense of Tandwai? Hindi sila yung nagpe-pressure defense. It's San Juan who's actually doing that to them. Exactly. That's why I'm baffled right now that they are already down big and hindi pa nila linalabas sa mga baraha nila. John Ray Villanueva able to score in that alley-oop layup. Cuts down the lead marginally though. Still an 18-point advantage here for San Juan. Isip now looking to direct traffic. Finds Bunyang along the baseline. Cannot convert on that jump shot. Here comes John Ray. Villanueva looking for a screen. He finds a Pinando. Levy back out to Cruz. Cruz pops on up from distance. Does not fall. Rebounded here by Gutang. Outlet pass over to Bunyang all alone for the Ooh. slam. No! He bobbled it. Here comes John R. Clarito now. Second serving is good. Well, San Juan not giving up on that play right there. Even if Bunya got a clear lane to the basket, John R. Clarito still sprinted down. Ended up with the offensive rebound and a sidestep finish to pile on his point total in this game. So San Juan already at the half century mark. 50 leading Tandwai who only has 29 as we near down the last two minutes of our first half of action. They are definitely playing well on both ends of the floor. Tandwai still finding solutions to this defense that San Juan is giving them. De La Virgen over to Jexter trying to body up Cunha. Kick out, Levy, swing. Here comes John Ray. Over now to Cruz. No! The defense again have the ups on one, causing all sorts of trouble here for Tandwai. Shot clock violation, the man. This is the second shot clock violation of the game for the Tandwai Rum Masters. And Anthony, I've noticed also the reason why the Tandwai is also having a hard time finding open looks, especially from straight away. Yung pag angat ng five man sa taas is making it hard for Tandwai to have open looks from straight away. As Phil Basket is brought to us by Celium Fiber, manufactured by Leone Agri Corporation. Boy, having that shifting zone, all those little kinks in that uh, system, working out so well for the Sun One Knights on the defensive end of the floor. As we are now nearing the last minute of our second quarter, Villanueva gets a screen from Cruz. John Wright turn over again here for Tandwai. Here comes Judel now. Fuentes shoots one from free. Cannot fall. Apinan gets it. Trying to raise Isit. Apinan now slows it down. Brings it back out to Villanueva. De La Virgen, the drive. Turnover again here for Tandwai. Justin Gutang down the lane and two. No matter how much they try to mix up their plays on the offensive end, San Juan is always right there. Active hands. That defense just fueling the offense happy for San Juan. That, that zone defense happy has been, you know, causing all sorts of trouble for them as you take a look at this. Justin Gutang, steal and some cookies down the lane, picking the pocket of MJ Delverhen. And that was our pure gold move of the game. Levi Hernandez from distance, cannot fall from free. Villanueva puts it up. Off the glass and two. Wala talaga mahanap na butas, Anthony. Usually, when you move the ball around against a zone defense, makakahanap ka ng seams in the defense. But really, Tandoy not getting any open looks at all. As Clarito looking to add another statement into that uh, end of our second quarter, no? that strong drive by Jonard gets him a foul. And he's about to shoot two free throws. But Javi, back to your point. Again, every door shut down here for Tandwai. You try to move it inside. Nope. Two defenders, three defenders surrounding Cedric Oblaza. You try to shoot from the outside. The zone defense goes back up. So, I mean, where do you go from there? Exactly. And usually, Anthony, when you prepare for a team, you would give them something that you will just expect them to be limited in. Parang you will play the percentages na lang. For example, if a team is not good at shooting the three-point shot, you will give them the three-point shot. But but here in this game, San Juan is not giving any opportunity at any kind of shot for Tandwai. So, dadagtagan pa yan ng free throws galing dito kay Jonard Clarito. 
not done yet in terms of adding points to their large lead. So Levy Hernandez will be called for a foul. And Javi, that is bad news if you're Tandwai. That's already the third personal of Levy Hernandez in just the first half alone. Exactly. And Levy Hernandez started this game, Coach Toro Villanueva, wanting to let Levy establish his offensive rhythm early on, get the points to his total. But right now, the foul trouble not helping that cause. So game one, looking like a rout so far as it has been all San Juan. Hot shooting, pressure defense. Let's see that replay once again. Our referee is debating kung kanina ba talaga yung foul na yun. Levy Hernandez, foul, far away from that defensive sequence. So check that. So the foul, I think, now will now be called the Mark Neal Cruz. So Levy Fernandez uh, will now uh, only have only two personal fouls, not putting him in the danger zone yet. Yeah, but still, uh, not a good thing for Coach Solo Villanueva. Levy Hernandez will have to be careful on defense with his fouls. As Jonard is good on that free throw, upping the lead now to 23 for the Knights. As De La Verena almost a turnover at that, but no matter. That will end our first half of action. San Juan 54, Tandwai 31. Boy, Javi, if you are Tandwai, you're absolutely shell-shocked at the score, at the result of the score. Uh, that's right. And San Juan, you know that they want to make a statement in this game because they want to prove that that loss was a fluke. And <laughs> by the result of the score, Javi, they are actually proving that, hey, we want that game back and we're taking it back from you. As they lead at the half, 54 to 31, the Knights in cruise control as we turn it over now courtside to Sam for an interview with CJ Isit. Thank you, Anthony. Kasama ko nga ngayon si CJ Isit from the San Juan Knights. CJ, what has your team been doing right? I mean, uh, our coach just reminded us that uh, when it comes to playoff time in San Juan Knights basketball, we got to pick it up uh, a notch defensively and offensively, and I think we've done a good job in the first half. How do you plan to keep up this lead, CJ? Uh, well, we are definitely anticipating for them to make a, a comeback in the second half, so we just got to stay composed and together. So our coaches will tell us what to do in the dugout just now. Thank you so much, and good luck to you and your team, CJ. Appreciate it. Back to you, Anthony and Javi. All right, thank you very much, Sam. Of course, CJ is just looking to continue their fine performance in our first half of action. So it's San Juan 54, Tandwai 31 at the half. Magbabalik po ang Phil Basket semis. I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada bakery, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O and Cheese Smith, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get gigapowered with smart gigapower. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na dai. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the GigaLife app and choose Giga Power. Simply smart code.
We welcome you to halftime here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex. Game one of the semifinals between San Juan and Tanduay. Anthony Perez still here on the call. Joining me is Javi Pelanya. Javi, by the end of our first half of action, a 23-point advantage built by the Knights against the Rum Masters. It's been a crazy first half for the San Juan Knights. They have been doing it from both ends of the basketball, defense and offense. Their modified zone has been making it hard for Tanduay to get any sort of rhythm offensively. Samantala sa kabilang panic naman on the offensive end, San Juan has been shooting lights out from inside and outside. Their three-point shooting really blistering here to start our first half. That 23-point uh, differential between both sides, no? 24 points was what uh, San Juan poured in in that second quarter. As we take a look now, Javi, at some halftime stats, take it away. You see here, 8 out of 16 shooting, 50% from 3-point cut compared to just 3 out of 15 for the Tanduay Rum Masters. Almost the same number of attempts, but definitely more makes for the San Juan Knights, getting them the big advantage in the first half. Assists also on the side of the San Juan Knights. They have been playing beautiful team basketball, making it hard for the defense of Tanduay to guess on sino yung titira sa opensa. Everybody has been able to touch the ball on the offensive end for the San Juan Knights. In turnover story, 12 turnovers na para sa Tanduay Rum Masters in that first half, which San Juan is able to convert to 11 turnover points. That defense, Javi, that switching zone, that modified zone, working wonders for San Juan. As we take a look now, their leading scorers, Jornal Clarito and CJ Isit, having a fine outing so far. Yeah, 13 and 12 points for Clarito and Isit, respectively. Justin Gutang not far behind with 9, and Arlan Momar with 5. Sa kabilang panic naman, it's Jexer Apinan with 9, John Ray Valinueva with 7, Cedric Ablaza with 6, and Levy Hernandez with 3. These guys had to bleed for their points. This have not been easy baskets that they have been getting. Sometimes mga lucky baskets kasi pa yung mga nahuhulog na lang yung bola sa kanila. Tanduay will have to do a better job of getting it on offense dito sa second half. Meanwhile, we'll turn it over now courtside with Nadja Mirevales for a report from the Tanduay side. Thank you, Anthony and Javi. We are here with Coach Dino of the Tanduay Rum Masters. Coach, to be honest, hindi kami sanay na gumahabol kayo by this much. Ano yung mga naging struggle nyo in the first half? Well, first half, we uh, we started out flat. No? Defensively and offensively. No? So, if you notice the uh, sa stats, we were shooting only 20% from the field and we were turning overs left and right. So, well, it's not the end of the ball game yet. So we're looking forward to the second half. Hopefully we could bounce back and play the type of game that we play. You mentioned bouncing back, Coach Dino. How will you bounce back in the second half? Well, defensively, it all boils down to defense. So it will all start there and end there. We have to play defensively better than the first half. Thank you very much, Coach Dino. Good luck. Back to you, Anthony and Javi. Thank you very much, Nadja, for that report with Coach uh, Dino Ponce and Rile. And as he said, Javi, it all begins on the defensive end of the floor because it has been the defense of San Juan that has been tormenting Tanduay for most of our first half. Yeah, that's correct. So Tanduay, expect them to put out yung kanilang trademark pressure defense because that has been what they have been known for all tournament long. They have been tormenting the other teams with their pressure defense really forcing a lot of turnovers and getting easy baskets so we definitely will see a shift here in Tanduay they're not the number one team in this tournament for a reason and not far behind is San Juan who was neck and neck in them uh, in terms of the standings in their previous outing in the elimination round but Javi yung first half na yun, that modified zone we haven't seen that from San Juan all tournament long. And boy, what a time to pull it off ngayon against Tanduay. As I said at the top of our coverage, no, you could throw all the seedings away in this semifinals because everybody is now neck and neck in this semifinals. San Juan now looking to go to their sets. Gutang, the drive, right-handed finish, no go. Linganay tracks it down. Olivares now on the drive, bumped in air. Clarito gathers it. And CJ is it still looks to appear to be hurt, Javi. Oh, that's not a good sign for Coach Tani Pundalan in the Sun One Night. CJ is has been having a brilliant game in this match. 12 points, two assists, and two rebounds, and leading the charge for his team, starting point guard of the Sun One Night. He appears to be walking gingerly off the floor, so Orlan Wamar will now sub in here for CJ Isit. Let's hope it's nothing serious there. 
for the former Mapua Cardinal. So you take a look at this again on our screens. That was Isin in that collision with Ralph Olivares sent him to the deck. So, there didn't seem to be much on that collision, but uh may not andun. Could be. Clarita now. Puts the jumper up, block that time. Bunyang able to gather, jump hook, no. Rebound here by Linganay. Now you see more of the double teaming pressure defense itong Tandoy here to start the second half. Forcing Sanuan into hurried shots on offense. Could be going to what they know how to work best, Javi. But they have to go back to their bread and butter. Right, and that is their pressure defense, but immediately they turn it over again and Coach Cholo Villanueva says, I don't like the side of that. Was well, Coach Dino in that interview with Naj Miravalles that it has to start on defense, but they also have to convert on the offensive end. Basketball is a game of scoring points. And dun sila hirap na hirap, have, you know, with that modified zone, door shot along the paint, cannot find the three point shots, the right three point shots to go. There will be a foul right here, and that is not good news. Early on in this second half, Levy Hernandez finally picks up his third personal foul. We see here Orlan Momor, a little bit of hesitation, leaving Levy Hernandez in the dust and picking up the foul of the former Araliana Chief. Strong drive that time by Orlan Momor. Momor. Back out here to Jonard Clarito for free splash again. Jonard Clarito able to ring the bell from downtown. Now seeing that Tandway has unleashed their double teaming pressure defense, ina attacking na ngayon ng San Juan yung mga double teams and forcing Tandway to rotate on the open shooters that time late and closing out on Jonard Clarito for that open look. Olivares back out to Linganay, back to Ralph to Mark Neil Cruz, able to score finally from inside. Now that's better ball movement for Tandway. Ralph Olivares driving baseline and finding his big man Mark Cruz for the deuce. Our prize money sponsor, meanwhile, is brought to us by e Medishore Pharmacy. Clarito stopped in his tracks. Nine seconds of the night, shot clock for the Knights. Here comes Judel Fuentes with the runner off the glass. No, Bunyag is there, blocked from behind by Cruz, but there's a foul. And the number one rebounding team of the Phil Basket Summer Championship continues to struggle on the boards as we see here, Ralph Olivares, that delivery to Mark Cruz. Olivares to Cruz is our assist delivery of the game brought to us by Happily. Happily is available by delivery, takeout, and grab. Well, Christian Bunyag has been very solid in this game, able to get those boards and come up with second chance opportunities para dito sa San Juan Knights. A bit of, a bit of some off-ball discussion over there, Javi. Jung Baloria, while San Juan was in the huddle, he was trying to peek inside o, on the huddle over the shoulders of Clarito and Wamar. So, kaagad pinagsabihin siya, Oy, umalis ka dito. <laughs> we don't want you over here. Uh, don't you just love the atmosphere of playoff basketball, Anthony? You win by hook or by crook. Ralph Olivares now. Tandwai still down by a big one over here, 59 to 33. As Wilson is the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket, as John Baloria finally connects from downtown. A rare open look from downtown para sa Tandwai Rum Masters. John Baloria hitting his second three of the ball game. Meanwhile, we'll turn it over courtside to Sam and Nadja for a report. Thank you, Anthony. Para sa San Juan Knights, Coach Nani Epondolan has it all laid out for the team. Pahirapan nga daw makareceive. Kaya sabi ni Coach, push pressure on defense and recover hard every time Every time they go ball screen. Paalala din ni Coach is to communicate and give best effort on every possession. Sabi ni Coach, physical sila, physical tayo, pero walang mapipikon dahil game natin to. Ano naman balita sa kabilang koponan, Naj? Thank you, Sam. When I entered the dugout of the Tanduay Ram Masters, Coach Cholo was listing down their errors in the first half. And what caught my attention were the words, no help. Coach Cholo was very disappointed with his team because for him, it looked like they are playing for themselves and not as a team. He wants them to do their roles and to always come and help their teammate. His exact words were, you came here as a team, we finished as a team. Back to you, Anthony and Javi. Ang ganda nun, ha? You know, we came here as a team, we have to finish as a team, and Coach Cholo reminding his words na 
we have to be true to who we are. We play. We came here all the way to the semifinals undefeated, playing good team basketball. Pero sa first half natin, parang wala talaga yun eh. Yeah, exactly. And this is not the right time to throw out all the values and the culture that you have espoused during the elimination round and in the quarterfinals during this semifinal match. Now, th we're lucky that we are in a three-game series, a best-of-three series, and Tadwai still has a chance to para makabawe. But the free game series, Abby, is very, very short. I mean, game one uh, really smells the difference between both clubs. Escalarito is bothered by the defense that time by Tandway. Gonzalez now over to Olivares. Looking to bring it back outside. Ralph on the dry is blocked up top. Boarded here by Cruz. No, it's a scramble for the loose ball. And ball will remain still with Tadwai. And our referee is really allowing both teams to play physical, especially inside the shaded area. Ralph Olivares, again, not called for a foul on his drive. But possession will stay with the Rum Masters. Oh, offensive foul being called here against Junrik Baloria. He cannot believe it, but it goes the other way. Over now to San Juan. And clearly, the former perpetual help Alta standout is becoming more and more frustrated with the pesky defense it on the Orland Wamar. That was the previous sequence before the foul. Frustration slowly setting in, exhaustion slowly setting in. The defense of San Juan has been on point so far. And Anthony, we also have to note that itong uh, San Dwyer Rum Masters have taken on the mantle of Batanga City in the MPBL and they came also from a game after that quarterfinal match against Muntin Lupa. Could be the fatigue also kicking in. Could be also a factor that we're looking at over here for Tandwai. But look at the bench of Tandwai just argued the call of the referee, trying to point out that, hey, it's still our ball over here. As you take a look at that pass by Ralph Olivares, slipping through the hands of Jexter Apenan, but ball will remain with the Rum Masters. So it's going to be a baseline inbounds here for Joshua Gonzalez. As Phil Basket is brought to us by Celium Fiber, manufactured by Leone Agri Corporation. Bunyag, look at that big boy rebound by him. Here comes Gutang. Up ahead to Orlan. Omar from distance. No go. Clarito fighting for it. And that's going to be a foul against Mark Cruz. Long shot, long rebound. All of the Tandoi Rum Masters players waiting inside the vicinity of the shaded area for that defensive board. But Jordan Clarito rushing to that rebound. Happy Jonathan Clarito may be undersized, but in their elimination round game, he had 18 rebounds. Can you believe that? Oh, he is definitely a workhorse. He showed that in the field basket Subic bubble last year. Right now, a bit of inconsistencies in his game, but what a time for him to break out Tito Satting Torneo. As Cedric Ablaza now enters the game for Tandwai, in for Mark Cruz. Tandwai looking that. Looking for that Cedric Ablasa scoring to return as happily is available by delivery take out and grab. Joshua Gonzalez thought about it. Over now to Cedric. Kick out. Olivares free online splash. So that trims the lead now to a 19-point advantage for San Juan, 59 to 40. But still a long ways to go here for Tandway. A oh, three-point shooting will be important for Tandway in coming back from this huge deficit. They outscored the San Juan Knights in their elimination round game 12 to 9 in terms of three-point shots. As we see here, this instant replay, Ralph Olivares knocking down a three-pointer from straight away. As that instant replay of the game is brought to us by Smart, Smart Simple, Smart to call. Tandwai still searching for answers here as they are down 19 with only 4 and 30 to go in our third quarter. CJ is it back to the ball game for San Juan. Looks to be in better shape this time. Fuentes, he's got Olivares on him. The drive by Fuentes is tripped up. 
that will immediately be a foul against Olivares. And looks like Fuentes not taking a liking to the bump that he received from Olivares. Had a few choice words to say after going down. That was a pretty hard fall right there. Of course, Judel Fuentes, a tough player. Had 15 points in their uh, quarterfinal win against Pasig Santa Lucia. Out of the uh, CEU Scorpions program. Makes a second charity. New player right here for Coach Nani Apundalan in the San Juan Knights. Didn't play last year in Subic, but really playing great here. He does a field basket summer championship, averaging 17.6 points per game. Meanwhile, we'd like to thank Antigo Scoreboard, our multi sports scoring solutions. We talked about Judel Rick Fuentes Javi. He's one of the designated snipers here for San Juan, one of our league leaders in three point shooting. Yeah, Phil, uh, San Juan may have lost guys like Renzo Bando, Adrian Nokum, but the entry of guys like Judel Fuentes and Justin Bruta has made San Juan not really miss the services of those lost players. And they found another MVP front runner, Javi and Justin Butang. CJ is it now looking to work against Joshua Gonzalez. Is it left handed drive is blocked. Here comes Olivares racing down the floor. Brings it back out. So Olivares now puts it up off the glass is good. Ralph Olivares taking it upon himself to score the basketball coast to coast right there. Going up against the defense of John R. Clarito. As that off the glass too by Ralph Olivares is our pure gold move of the game. Meanwhile, San Juan will call for time and we'll be back after a few. The action here at the uh, San Jose del Monte Sports Complex. It's game one of the semifinals featuring Tanduay and San Juan. San Juan still up by a huge 61 to 45 advantage coming off this timeout. Ralph Olivares with that last made basket before our timeout. We have a solid number so far here for Ralph. Only averaging 6.1 points per ball game and 38.2% from the field. But I had a great game. For Ralph Olivares against Muntinlupa EOG. 11 points, 5 out of 6 from the field. One set starter right here for Coach Cholo Villanueva. And he has scored double digits again in this game with 10 markers to his name. CJ is it. Bit of some pressure here in the backcourt being applied by Tanduay. The drive here by Gutang gets the roll and one. Coming up for Justin Gutang. Pounding his chest saying, I'm the man and I'm carrying my team to victory. Clarito giving it up to Gutang on the right corner. Hopping his way into the middle. Body control and upper strength to finish that basket. Justin Gutang able to convert on that free throw. Making it a complete three point play. San Juan not letting up with their defense. Joshua Gonzalez now. Ablaza bothered by Sarangay. Olivares goes under the importante screen. Back out for free. Is short on that jump shot. Is it? Throws it over now to John Arturito. Easy two on the other end. Nobody home right there to stop John Clarito after CJ Isit ended up with the rebound. Throws it right away to his buddy. Importante and Gonzalez, little handoff action. Olivares now. Gonzalez. Cedric has got Jonard on him. Ablaza. Over to Junric is hammered inside by Mark Sarangay. 
Foul number six, Mark Sarangai, his second. So that's going to be the second foul now on Mark Sarangai. Sending Junrik Baloria to the free throw line. And speaking now of the Tandwai offense, Javi, it still has, you know, it has its had its moments so far in this game, but just the consistency we're seeing, you we're used to seeing from guys like Cedric Ablaza, the barometer of this Tandwai Rome Master Squad, totally absent in this game. Yeah, that's right. Jong Baloria, seven points in this game, make that eight. But he has struggled for all of those seven points. He has been made to bleed for his totals in this game. He's it now. Over to Jadel. Back out to CJ. Fuentes open free. Splash it again. Jadel Fuentes connects from downtown. 10 three pointer in the game for San Juan and Jadel Fuentes just piling on the points right here for San Juan. As Clarito swooping in. Cannot find the bucket. But nonetheless, a strong drive from Jonard gets him a foul. Take a look at this easy dish to Judel Fuentes in the shot pocket. Rise and fire through the net. Etendoy not really doing a good job of marking the shooters. And another turnover given up by the Rum Masters. 16 turnovers already in this game, Anthony. And we are just winding down the third period. 16 turnovers, still not done with the third quarter. Javi, I mean, it's going to be hard for you to come back or even win when you're putting out that type of performance as a timeout here is being called again by Coach Cholo Villanueva along the sidelines. His team down 70-47. to 47. Semi-final action here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex as we take a look now at Judel Rick Fuentes for the San Juan Knights, averaging 17.6 points per game his, along the season. In the last game against Pasig Santalcia, he had 15 points in that knockout game, bringing them over to the semi-finals. King Importante now on the drive is bothered by Sarangai. Able to get a basket plus a foul is King Importante. One of the rare moments in this game that Tandwai was able to successfully break itong pressure defense next on one night. And King Importante going up strong against the taller Mark Sarangai. Able to get the hoop and the harm. So subs checking in now for San Juan. Tonton Peralta entering the game alongside the Maki Acosta sitting down is Justin Gutang and Jonathan Carito. There are two high flying wings who have been doing damage in this game. As King Importante makes his second charity. So Tandoy is able to trim this deficit down to 20 points. It's a 70 to 50 lead here for San Juan. Still right around that halftime number of 23 as oh. A foul being called here against Maki Acosta, putting up a brick wall of a screen against Junric Baloria, Javi. And you know, Malmadon si Maki Acosta, he just walked away, didn't complain. He knew he committed that moving screen. Like a blindside hit coming from a linebacker across the middle. Baloria now over to John Ray Villanueva, lines up the free. No go. King Importante keeps it alive, almost a turnover there. Cedric Ablaza hasn't found his points today. Corner, Gonzalez free, no go. Ablaza again with the two this time. Good offensive rebound right there. Great presence of mind by Cedric Ablaza to use the ring as a shield against Mark Sarangay. Orlan Wamar bothered by Tandwai's defense. This time they cause a turnover. As Cedric Ablaza, little mid-air conversion. Finds the two. Now, this is the Tandwai defense that we know for. Able to get 
those easy points off of those turnovers. Trying to give San Juan a taste of their own medicine. Happy as a turnover again is caused by the Ram Masters. Here comes Jundrik Valoria down the lane and to Tandoi putting a run here, Happy. Well, may have gotten away with the traveling right there. Took an extra step before he went up for the shot. As John Mary Villanueva is called for a foul. A little exaggerated reaction coming from John Ray. And in the first half, we saw the San Juan Knights piling on the pressure. Sa backcourt pa lang, but now San Dwight pulling out its cards here and giving San Juan a dose of their own medicine. See here, John Ray Villanueva able to give it to John Valoria for the finish on the other end. You'd have to ask, no, Javi, where was this pressure defense of Tandwai in our first half, no? But then again, if you're Coach Cholo Villanueva, mahirap din, it's easier said than done. Di ba? It, yung setting the, your team into the rhythm after what San Juan did to you in that first half, it's gonna be hard for you to just all of a sudden turn off and switch. Exactly, you know, I myself was baffled at why we didn't see that trademark defense in the first half. But there have been, there, there might have been a lot of factors that Coach Cholo Villanueva was considering in preparing for this game because again as we said earlier this team had a two game day in that quarterfinals and moved on to the MPBL to play another game in the nightcap so maybe he's considering the energy level of his players in this match very valid point there happy of course Tandwai also playing in other leagues alongside the Phil Basket asking importante almost a loose ball there Villanueva over and out to Junrik. Jong, the drive. Valoria, hang time move is good. Slowly, the former PBA player taking over for his squad right here. Six straight points by Jong Valoria. CJ is it in San Juan looking to settle things down. Arim, back out to Peralta. Tonton, baseline jump shot. Quiets the storm briefly. Here comes Tandwai. A plaza now. What about the free? Back out to Joshua Gonzalez. Over to King. Turn over again. Bad pass by Importante. Here comes CJ. Is it all the way to the rim? Ill-advised bounce pass there by Importante that led to another turnover for the Rome Masters in San Juan. Taking no chances, pushing the ball once again. CJ Isit sidestepping his way to the hole against John Ray Villanueva, the lefty finishing once again on the break. And just like we saw in our first half, defense fueling the offense for San Juan. And that will end our third quarter of action. San Juan 75, San Juan 58. Basket semi-final action here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex. Anthony Perez is still here on the call. Joining me is Javi Pelanya. And we are set to begin our fourth quarter of action with San Juan still leading 75 versus Tanduay 58. Well, Tanduay coming up with renewed energy, especially towards the latter parts of that third quarter. Very crucial for them in order for them to come back into that game. You see 27 points compared to the 21 of San Juan, talking about the Rum Masters in that third quarter. So can they sustain it in this final period? Let's see. Well, John Ray Villanueva converts on that three-pointer. And this has been the most manageable lead for them so far. A 14-point advantage for San Juan. But for, if you're Tanduay, that's as close as you've got in the whole game, Javi. Yeah, that's right. And aside from putting up points on the board and limiting Itong San Juan to just 21 points in that third quarter, 
they have also done it on the rebounding end. 30 rebounds na ang Tandway in this game, outnumbering the 27 of San Juan as John Ray Villanueva is able to get the basket and the foul and one opportunity, a chance to trim this lead further. John Ray Villanueva a free on the other end and this time puts the one-legged runner up and that swishes through the net for an end one opportunity coming up for John Ray. Five straight points for the former Pasig Santa Lucia realtor and a chance for a six-point swing by himself. Single-handedly carrying his team back into this game. Boy, John Ray Villanueva have in the absence of Cedric Ablaza's scoring. It has been John Ray Villanueva's scoring boost that has given Tandwai a much needed, you know, lifeblood shot in this uh, fourth quarter. Exactly. And John Ray Villanueva didn't see a lot of floor time last year for passing under coach Bong de la Cruz. But coach Solo Villanueva has given him a lot of opportunities to strut his wares dito sa Phil Basket Summer Championship. He's averaging 8.1 points in this tournament and now has 12. But he better watch it now, Javi, because John Ray Villanueva has been called already for another foul. He also has to watch his reaction there. Our referees keeping a keen eye on that. Wamar back out to Gutang. Over to Bunyak, puts up the jump hook. Soft shot that time. Here comes Gonzalez. Ablaza for free. Will not fall. Is it the outlet? Going to Wamar. Little shove. Does not fall from back point blank range. Oh, lucky break right there for Tandwai. Nobody going back on safety. As Junrik Valoria able to get a bump and a foul from Orlan Wamar and he's trying to say some unkind words over there to Orlan who does not appreciate that one bit. Oh, tempers and emotions really flaring here in game one of the semifinals. We still have another game one battle in the second game, Anthony. <laughs> and boy, Javi, if, this, if the action in this game that we're witnessing is this intense, what more can we expect from the following game after? That's right. This might be just, you know, setting the pace for our next game. A battle between the All-Star Bacall Ballers Bingo Plus and the number two Nueva Ecija Capitals. But first, our attention focuses here on Tandwai, who is slowly but surely Javi, looking to make a run against San Juan. Trying to keep it close, it's now just uh, an 11 point uh, advantage here for San Juan. But earlier it was as high as 23, the lead for San Juan. And the pressure continues here for the Rum Masters as they try to get some steals in the backcourt. Is it now looking to break the pressure? Over now to Justin Gutang, shadowed here by Apinan. CJ, over to Jonard, little hang time move. The tip goes for Christian Bunyag. Oh, and they're crediting that basket uh, to Jonard Clarito, but from our vantage point, look at it, it might have been Christian Bunyag who tipped that basket in. To the vein, but John Ray Villanueva continues his hot shooting from downtown, able to hit from the corner. 15 points now in the game para kay John Ray Villanueva, top scoring para dito sa Tanduay Rum Masters. From a high of 23, the lead now down to 10. Tanduay knocking on the door of San Juan. Clarito, jump shot is short. Here comes Junric Valoria. Crucial possession here for Tanduay. Can they cut it down to just a single digit advantage? Villanueva trying to use the up and screen. Ball will remain here with the Rum Masters. And seemingly, Tanduay has been able to find solutions to the modified zone defense that San Juan has thrown at them as we see this three point shot from the right corner guarding Dito by John Ray Villanueva. And a little extracurricular activity coming after that three point shot as Villanueva gets the free again. Online, if that got gotten in, boy, the house would have erupted, Abby. I see a replay right there. Definitely body contact right there from Justin Gutang. And I, I don't know what Mr. Gutang is pleading. There was obviously 
some body contact after John Ray Villanueva hoisted up that three-point shot. And Justin Gutang better watch it because that is already his third personal foul, if I'm not mistaken, as John Ray Villanueva heads to the line with a chance to trim down this deficit to single digits. Now, this is what we were asking during the first period, Anthony. San Juan zoomed out to a huge double-digit advantage, and, you know, there was really an extra boom to their step. Their confidence was sky-high on both ends of the basketball. But we were asking, would they be able to sustain this until the end game? And right now, that question remains to be answered as Tanduay is knocking heavily on the door of the San Juan Knights with seven minutes still to go in their fourth quarter. Again, San Juan has the quality, no doubt, Happy, but it's the consistency that really matters for them. Zvilianueva, oh, Ooh, sorry, missed that time, Javi. But Two never missed free throws right there, huh? Right. Nevertheless, still a nine point advantage. Much more manageable here for Tandwai. Clarito, kick out, Gutang, corner, free splash! Ooh. Justin Gutang with the response that they needed. Oh, what a way to make up for his boo boo in that defensive possession after fouling a three point shooter. Hitting a three-point shot of his own, but can John Ray Villanueva answer? Nope. Valoria recollects that basketball. Hang time move. Will not fall. Is it now? Over to Judel. San Juan looking to run. Judel puts the runner up and two. A five-point response quick here by San Juan to quell the storm and put the lead back up to double digits. As we take a look at this, Judel Fuentes jailing. Cedric Ablaza with his behind and able to put the runner up for two. That's our pure gold move of the game from Judel Rick Fuentes. Time out muna tayo dito. Magbabalik ang Phil Basket Semi. My final action here at the San Jose del Monte Sports Complex. As before we continue action, we'll turn it over now courtside to Nadja and Sam. Girls? Thank you, Anthony and Javi. This quarter, it is on. In the huddle of the Tanduayro Masters, grabe yung energy and yung giggle. You can definitely feel that they are ready for a comeback. At ang plano nga nila in the huddle is to cut down the lead to 10 points. Kanina nga, mundi, nagawa na nila. Pero tingnan natin if it will come again to fruition, Sam. Thank you, Nadia. Pa para naman sa San Juan Knights, paalala ni Coach Nani is to communicate dahil nakakahabol na nga ang Tanduay. Sabi ni Coach Nani is to adjust on offense para mabutas ang full court press ng Tanduay Rum Masters. Anthony, Javi? Javi, you know, if San Juan kanina, it was that moving zone, that modified zone defense working wonders as Judel Fuentes able to nail from downtown. Meanwhile, Tanduay, it was their uh, pressure defense able to get them a run going. But again, San Juan just the shots, the response, the timely shots that they're taking. Again, putting them back in the lead. Well, this is what's working for Son One here in this game. Even if somehow their effort has faltered on the defensive end, allowing Portandway to score on offense, just that double digit advantage that they were able to establish in the first half has made it possible for them to keep itong Tanduay at bay with timely shots in response to the rallies of the Rome Masters. Nandun na eh, no? Gaya ng sabi kanina ni Nadja, no? Tanduay, you know, they receive a shot in the arm, no? Uh, going into that uh, third quarter, no? Pero pa, yung San Juan pa rin, patuloy na sumasagot, no? Pag dumarating yung sunog ng uh, Tanduay, sumasagot ang San Juan. As CJ Isit looks to bring up the ball for the Knights. Lead back to 17 for them. Gutang, corner, rims out. Ooh. Ball bounces back to CJ Isit for the reverse. Oh, he is just playing the game of his life here. Easily might be his best game of the Phil Basket Summer Championship. Talking about the former Mapua Cardinal, CJ Isit, as Cedric Ablaza answers with the three. Boy, Cedric Ablaza, his scoring touch 
for the barometer of Tandwai. That's where they need him to work his magic right now. But the Blaza has been far from his usual production. CJ is it. Goes under the Clarito screen. Back out to Jonart. Back to Justin. Pulls back up for free splash. <laughs> Justin Gudang connects from downtown. Everybody is just contributing on the offensive end. Para dito sa San Juan Knights. Previous sequences, it was Judel Fuentes. And then John Arclarito. And then CJ Isit. Now Justin Gutang contributing on his own. As Wilson is the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket. Happy for every run that Tandwai makes. San Juan answers with great defense and timely baskets. Look at here that three point basket by Justin Gutang stepping to the side to evade the defense, knocking down that three point shot with a plum from the crowd. And that crowd moment is brought to us by Smart, Smart Slim Bill, Smart Taco. Is it waving off Justin Gutang? He wants this matchup against Joshua Gonzalez. Sends it over to Gutang. Is it over to Judel? Catch and shoot free offline. Jonathan Carito with a big rebound. But there were a lot of Tandwai players right there hoping to get that rebound, but it ended up with Larito. As CJ Isit is not yet done right here, extending the lead back up to 22 points. From, from 10, knock now to 22 again. Boy, CJ Isit and the Knights have been scorching from the field. Apinan, the drive. Layup is short. That will send Jexter to the line for two. As we take a look at this, CJ Isit hop into free pointer. Splash from downtown. Justin Gutang enjoying every bit of it. Putting up the free goggles. Celebrating that CJ Isit free pointer. Anthony, look at this. Almost everybody from the starting five of Coach Nani Epundalan scoring in double digits. The the one guy who has not been able to break into double figures is si Christian Bunyak, but he already has eight. When you say balanced scoring, complete production, parang you talk about Tandoy, you know, pero Javi, in this game, it has been San Juan getting that fair share of connections from the field as Gutang misfires from downtown. Jexter Apinan and company in a big 21 point hole. Apinan now on the drive, trying to ship it over now to see Cedric Ablaza. And they turn it over again, and that has been the story, Javi, for Dandwai. Turnovers, shooting them in the foot. 20 turnovers for the Dandwai Rum Masters, well above their average of almost 16 a game. Gutang now, kick out. Fuentes all day to shoot. No. Gutang tracks it down again, keeping the possession alive here for the Knights. Down to nine on the shot clock. CJ under the Bunyag screen, hops into it, blocked by Ablaza. Gutang puts it up. That is short, but CJ is it is able to regather the ball. Again, long shot, long rebound. And the San Juan Knights guards have been readily available to collect those offensive rebounds. Clarito. Oh, that was a pass over to Bunyag, but that was intercepted though. Time now running out for the for the Tandwai Rum Masters to get back into this game. Going now steadily into the last two minutes of our ball game. CJ is it? Foul that time on him. That will uh, send the Tandwai over now to the penalty. Cedric Ablaza sits this one down. Mark Cruz checking in for him. Tonton Peralga re-entering the game alongside Olni Larim and Nino Ibanez for San Juan. John Ray Villanueva Javi, he did give Tandwai a much needed boost though. But again, that run was answered splendidly by San Juan with timely baskets of their own. And the free throws right here. One of the things that are haunting the Tandawai Rum Masters, itong si John Ray Villanueva, only one out of five from the charity stripe. There are just 11 
sorry, 12 out of 18 overall. Meanwhile, San Juan is 15 out of 17 from that area. Again, in their uh, quarterfinal matchup, Javi Tanduay shot 87% from the free throw line. A far cry from the previous outing. Oh, the shots of John Ray Villanueva from the free throw line were very crucial because that was the time that they were making their run. Could have cut the lead to single digits. As but San Juan <laughs> is just not finished yet, Anthony. As Arim scores in that alley-oop layup. And meanwhile, our last two minutes is brought to us by Smart Smart Simple Smart Taco. Junik Baloria able to respond on the other end. But time is not on the side of San Juan. As we take a look at this assist delivery of the game. Clarito to Arim, eye in the sky play. And that assist delivery is brought to us by Happily. Happily is available by delivery, take out and grab. Here comes Arim now and cleaned up here by Ubalde. <laughs> Whenever Ubalde checks into the game, and is able to score a basket. San Juan always loving it. <laughs> Just the cherry on top of the ice cream right here for what is what has been a wonderful performance by the boys of Coach Danny Epundulan. Basically having a wire-to-wire -wire victory here. Upcoming victory though for San Juan. As we look now to close into the last minute of our ball game. Nino Ibanez, the drive, puts it up. Way offline, here comes John Ray. Villanueva trying to waste no time. But he is stripped by Ubalde. The bench favorite of San Juan comes up with a defensive stop and Tonton Peralta scores on the other end. It looks like they still have a chance to break the century mark right here. What a statement game para dito sa San Juan Knights. Proving Tanduay that that victory over them in the elimination round was a fluke and they wanted that so bad back. And Javi, that is how you come back, no? We oh, You only won by us oh, with just a uh, single basket, but this time we have proved it to you when it mattered most in the semifinals that we are capable of beating you fair and square and by a huge margin. What a way to give the tournament's unbeaten team their first loss of the tournament in not going well for Tanduay right here as we are now 25.4 seconds remaining in this game. John Ray Villanueva called for an unsportsmanlike foul. The woes just compounding re really hard for the boys of Coach Cholo Villanueva. Of course, John Ray Villanueva gave Tanduay a much needed boost when they needed him the most, but still falling short, way short of this impending San Juan victory. Dominant on both ends were the Knights in this one. Stonto Peralta will take it out of bounds. Nino Ibanez now. Hounded by Junric Baloria. Looking to pile on the pressure is Junric. Ibanez will just dribble away the shot clock. So last 11.4 seconds of the game as a timeout is being called here by the Tanduay Rum Masters bench. Coach Cholo Villanueva will talk it out one more time with his wards as we'll pause for a quick break. We'll be back. San Jose del Monte Sports Complex for the remaining seconds of our game one of our semifinal matchup featuring Tanduay and San Juan. Anthony Perez still here. Joining me is Javi Pelanya. 
And Javi, with what looks like a San Juan victory, boy, you have to give credit to the wards of Coach Nani Pondolan for an amazing war to war win. And Anthony, you know, this is a big victory for the San Juan Knights. Huge double digit advantage in their victory right here, but the score doesn't really justify the kind of excitement that this game brought us today. So much action in this match, and this is just the first game of our doubleheader in our Phil Basket semifinals. So there it is. The first loss of the undefeated Rum Masters comes in the semifinals in game one, losing to a familiar foe in the San Juan Knights, 101 to 75. A dominant wire to wire victory here for the Knights who avenged their elimination round loss to the Rum Masters by a huge, huge win. A 101 75 victory it is for the Knights. Just great performance, team effort turned in by the San Juan Knights. Really, really able to dominate on both ends of the basketball defense to offense. Coach Nani Epundalan, big props to his coaching staff and to his team for coming up with a victory in this game. As we turn it over now, courtside to Sam Coloso with an interview with our player of the game, Jonathan Torito. Thank you, Anthony. We're here with our Pure Gold Best Player of the Game, Jonard Clarito from the Sun One Knights. Jonard, what a win for you and the team. You broke that 11-game winning streak of the Tanduay Rum Masters. How was that? Take me through your game. Ah, siyempre, naganda kami sa game na, na to para makuha ng panalo. Sabi ng mga coaches sa amin na lahat ng mga shooters kailangan namin ni stop para man manalo kami, makuha namin yung panalo na to, yung game one. Ang importante kasi yung game one na to. Yan yung mga sabi ng mga coach sa amin. Jonard, how do you plan to keep up that energy hanggang finals? Uh, sa akin naman, kung ano yung maitutulong ko sa team, gagawin ko para lang sa mga, sa mga teammates ko na naniniwala sa akin. Uh, yun lang. Sinong gusto mong batiin, Jonard? Uh, unang una, nagpapasalamat ako sa, sa kay God na binigay niya itong panalo sa amin. At saka nagpapasalamat ako kay Senator Jingoy, kay Boss Engineer Teddy, at kay Boss Nolet na walang sawang sumuporta sa amin. At sa mga loyalist namin na sumusuporta sa amin nandito. At saka kay Tunyo na ano daw, uh, pinakamabait sa team namin. At saka nagpapasalamat ako sa misis ko na nanood ngayon, at saka sa anak ko. Tsaka sa pangalawang baby ko na sumusuporta sa akin. Tsaka yung pamilya ng misis ko na nanonood ngayon. Tsaka mga magulang ko na nasa lower bala. Yun lang. Amazing performance, Jonard. Congratulations to you and the San Juan Knights. Back to you, Anthony and Javi. Alright, thank you very much, Sam. All smiles for Jonathan Carito and company as they take a crucial 1-0 advantage in, our, in their semi-final matchup. With the Tandwai Rum Masters, San Juan winning it big against Tandwai. Meanwhile, up next, don't go away. It's going to be the Nueva Ecija Capitals versus the All-Star Bacolod Bowlers for our other semi-final matchup coming right up in just a few.